guys my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel if you like my videos please press the like button please do subscribe Alexa what's the time please it's 2 57 p.m. hi there guys so there's not really much else I can do today <laughs> to be fair it's a Sunday I live by myself with my lovely Chihuahua Max I will not be forced into free prostitution or people extorting rude photographs out of me by making my life a misery so no one's got any photographs I haven't gone to Facebook and done any recent photographs and I'm not going to um so I've got up this morning took Max out for a walk then I went out to the co-op came back cooked my lunch and then at two o'clock I took Max out again. I didn't let these people on TikTok affect me. Um, a barrage of hello pretty, hello gorgeous, hello beautiful. Uh, the same thing that I told the police that is going on with every social media site of mine. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you name it, they keep doing it. Hello pretty, hello gorgeous, trying to upset me, spoil my day, just so that I feel the need to prove that I'm not ugly. And that means to them, stripping your clothes off and degrading yourself and giving them free ammunition, um, whether you dress up in a mini skirt with tights or whatever, they're just, after, they're just degrading you. This has gone on gone on for over 15 years this person has been doing this to me over 15 years and the police either can't find them won't look for them won't investigate it's really when the internet first came about and I sent my email to somebody and his name was called John and I sent him photographs of myself and then the film in 2005 Nanny McPhee came out and I certainly don't look like Nanny McPhee. Yes, I have got a twisted tooth. And with all the money they've extorted out of me by using my image and making fun of it, don't you think that they could afford to give me free implants? Don't you think they could give me free implants if they're so, so tight-fisted and want to keep me caged like a canary? Don't you think that they could at least give me free teeth implants from what they've taken and destroyed in my life the thieves and they're still doing it I'm so fucking ugly I'm so fucking hideous why do you keep asking for pictures you pervert so that they you know watch the films closely watch the TV Watch your films closely. Look at my face, look at my hair, and look at the thieves at work. Look at them. If you look closely at what's on television, you look closely and you'll see why they don't want me to go outside and discover what they're doing. So, messages on Flirt Finder. From Con 39er, I would kiss you all over, no prop. You are gorgeous looking and those lips are so kissable. And then they tell me they're honest. I don't believe a word of that. You have gorgeous legs too, so attractive. And they always put kisses after their messages, whether they're a man or a woman. It's just weird. So at 2.56, rough lad, 17. Hello, and now we've got another Dave. We've got another Dave. Hello there, my name is Dave. What is yours? And what do you like doing? You can chat about anything you like to. So they're obsessed with the name Dave. My name's Crystal. So I'm just replying to them. Right, so I get a 
much of that. About the fifth person, they're called Dave. Don't you find that strange and uncanny and weird? Everybody's called Dave. Um, so I also had, I've had messages off TikTok. I'm so-and-so, so-and-so. Can you go on Google chat? Um, have you been topless before? Um, just strange messages from weird, strange people that can't leave me alone. And I do feel caged like a canary. Because I'll get, I'll get told, you're attractive, you're pretty, you're gorgeous. I'll go outside. Uh, uh, uh. I, I just ignore it. How do I ignore it? I just stand tall and I ignore it. So you have to go outside and not get cross. That's the game that you play with them. They play a game like Saw. So they make every day of my life, they try to make it miserable. They try to trap me indoors so I can't go outside. They try to get filthy pictures out of me. And I play this game. So they can all talk, they can all chat. They're not getting any pictures. And they can talk to the cows come home. I don't believe the word they say. And at the same time, I'm trying to trap who's doing it and where it's coming from. So that I can give all this information to the police. Or track them down and find out who's doing it myself. Because I can travel. I know where one of my ex-partners lives or used to live in London. Uh, Kentish Town and Camden. I know where he lives. I still remember from 2004 that the, the flat number of his flat in London near the Arsenal Stadium. And there's that other one at the other block of flats. There's a guy I met off of YouTube that was pissed off because I told him off about something. And he said that he admitted that he wanted to do me harm. The guy I met off of YouTube. So there's several people it could be. And they love to say ha ha ha. H-A, H-A, H-A. Ha ha ha. And they tell the truth, do they? I don't think so. Because you can tell a liar. You can smell the shit coming from the lie. So I went out after a barrage of messages. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, beautiful. You've got lovely legs. Who cares? There was a family walking around the field with two kids and a pram. In the blazing hot heat, it is hot here in Rochester, the sun is out, it's boiling. So they're walking a pram around a rough field with kids. And of course one of the kids goes, Ugh! I don't know, I've never seen these people before. Random people appearing from nowhere. <laughs> um... I came back off the field. I just want to walk from my from the field to the flat. It's like getting through a barrage of poop, trash, crap. People getting in your way. Car doors wide open. Fucking shit. Cars parked on the pavement. I take to Tesco's lorry on the pavement this morning. There's no rules. There's no police. They do what they like. They thieve. They steal. They get their way into nightclubs for, for free they get into the cinema for free because every they, they they know people they know security right they know police they know security they can do what they fucking like can't they well i have to pay for everything and live in a flat without fucking carpet and it's not fair but there's no point complaining because I phoned the police two days ago. No one's got back to me, have they? They, don't, they couldn't give a shit. They couldn't care less. And I know that. I know that. And I, I said to the police, this evil shit isn't going to let me find a boyfriend. Their whole intention in life is to destroy me, to throw me in the gutter with nothing, and leave me lonely for the rest of my life. Don't you fucking think I know that? Oh, where's your boy? 
noise. People come, there's a, loads of blokes come down here with different cars, open top cars showing off. What do you want me to do? Take a picture? I look after myself because nobody else does. Nobody else does. They haven't really ever had. It's liars. I am going to make myself a cup of coffee. I noticed one car, very similar number plate to the guy upstairs. I don't fucking drive. I've never learnt to. He's got half his number plate and they've come all the way from Wales. The Welsh Dragon is on the number plate. The Welsh Dragon is on the car's number plate with half of his number plate upstairs on it. I don't drive. This guy hasn't been in his flat for most of the week. It's just me underneath. And I should be enjoying myself, listening to music, getting on with my life. But I've got this pillock. Hello pretty, hello beautiful, hello gorgeous. Fuck off. In the, in the day and age where people express themselves, you've got men dressing as women, and they did that in the 80s. That's nothing new. Boy George wore women's makeup. Marilyn dressed as a woman. It's nothing new, guys. Teenagers, youngsters today think that's new, but it isn't. It started the new romantics and all that shit in the 80s, right? Late 70s, early 80s, men wearing women's makeup, putting women's clothes on. It's nothing new, except they, they didn't openly go, go on a stage for teenagers and young people and dress in women's underwear. And play with their nipples that was for private parties and things like that I you know I think it's got to the stage where where people literally can do what they want and no one gives a fuck anymore and we have to protect our children and look after our children and say what you like about the Prime Minister at the moment he, he is against smoking and protecting kids from smoke and smoke inhalation, right? And learning how to smoke, he's trying to stop it because it, it does cause cancer. It can cause cancer and lung problems and heart disease. And a, a young person might not see it now, but you'll certainly see the effects in 10, 20 years time after you've spent 20, 30 years smoking you will see and, and feel the effect it has on your body and your heart, lungs, etc. Right, so the Prime Minister is quite right with what he's doing, but I think he should stop smoking completely. That's my opinion. If it's not in the shops, you can't fucking buy it. Take all the alcohol off the shelves, you've got no choice, you've got to live without it. Take the fags off the shelf, you've just got to get on with your life. They've taken my fucking freedom away. I've got to live without my fucking freedom. I'm controlled. Someone is forcing me to live like this. I've got no freedom. My, my privacy is being invaded. I've got no fucking choice. The fucking fuckers, fuckers laughing at me. Because they're being allowed to fucking do it, that's why. Oh, I've got no carpet. They want their pictures on my videos. I've got no carpet. You can see they're filming something. You can see what they're up to. They're so such pathetic actors and actresses. You can actually see 
it's so fucking fake like Coronation Street, you can fucking see it. Now I know. And they're still doing it. Fucking using me for no pay. And they've all got flash cars, lovely homes, 2.4 children in lovely houses. And they've taken everything off me. And you want me to smile and just put up with it day after day after fucking day. And what is it with the police? What's wrong with them? They can't find a stalker. But they found Holly Willoughby's, didn't they? <laughs> I'm still going out there after having threats. I don't get three weeks off. I'm on guard 24-7. Now, guys, I know some of you might think that I'm ranting and raving about bollocks, that it's not true that I'm fucking mad, but if you live my life or live with me, you know, they cough every time they go past me. It's like a comedy. They cough. So I'll be walking down the streets, and I'll go past this guy, <coughs> and then I'll go down the street, <coughs> Then I go down the street. <coughs> what the fuck is that? Repeating parrots coughing. I am just going to get on with the rest of my day in my flat by myself. You're not going to meet a real man on a setup like this. You're not. used, exploited, since I've ever known for pornography. See you later.